Hello everyone. First of all, I would like to notify that in last four parts, that is starting from part 14 to 15, 16, 17, in all these videos, I have discussed reactions that involves nucleophile, which is carbonyl type of nucleophile. Okay. So in this video also, it will be addition of carbonyl. That is the nucleophile is carbonyl and the reaction is novenagel reaction. In last part, that is part 70, I have discussed Stobe reaction. So, in Stobe reaction, there is aldehyde or ketone. So, here also we have aldehyde or ketone depending on the nature of this R and R prime group. Another molecule from which the carbonyl will be generated, that is here active methylene compound. Now, active methylene means methylene is CH2 group. And when we are saying that it is active, that means it will be acidic in nature. So here this CH2 is acidic in nature because we have two electron withdrawing group attached to this CH2. That is why these two hydrogens will be acidic that is active. In Stobe reaction it was 1,4 diester like this CO2R, CO2R. So here we have two CH2 but in this case it is 1, 3 compound that is at 1 and 3 position there will be 2 ester it may be some ketone group also. So we will see what are the examples of active methylene compound that we can take in Novenagel reaction and the base that we will use here is not very strong base because here these two hydrogens they are already very active. If you compare with this hydrogen of these two CH2 group in case of Stobe Obviously, here the acidity will be more because it is a two electron withdrawing group is basically adjacent. But here one CO2 R group is adjacent and another group is not directly attached. So, obviously here compared to the reagent that we have used in Stobe, here the reagent that we are using from which the carbonyl is generated, that carbonyl will be more stable. So, that is why if we use mild base, it will be fine. Strong base not required. And the product here is alpha beta conjugated enone. So in electron withdrawing group there will be basically uh, CO group, C double bond group. That is why it is enone. Enone means in plus one. That is CC double bond and C double bond O. So this is enone system. So our product is enone type of and this is alpha beta conjugated enone because with respect to carbonyl, this is alpha carbon, this is beta carbon and water molecule will be removed. So, Novenagel reaction, you can also call it condensation reaction because two small molecules attach together to make this large molecule and with removal of a small molecule which is water. So, this is, uh, this can be called also as Novenagel condensation. Now, the active methylene compound that we can take, these are some of the varieties. Malonic ester. Malonic ester is ester of malonic acid. So, this is malonic acid and the corresponding ester that is this CO2H it will be converted to CO2R. So, both sides same group it is malonic ester and then cyanoacetic ester. So, here this CH3 group one of the hydrogen is replaced by CN. So, that is why it is cyano then acetic ester. Then we have acetoacetic ester. Again, if you Imagine here we have CH3 group, one of the hydrogen is replaced by acetyl group. So that is why it is acetoacetic ester. So on one side, in the left hand side we have keto group, in the right hand side we have ester. Though mostly this malonic ester type of compound is taken, but you can also see uh, example of active methylene compound where one side we have keto group, another side we have ester. So, the main point is both side we must have two electron withdrawing group. Now, this electron withdrawing group, it may be CO2R, it may be cyano, it may be CO and there is another interesting example of active methylene compound which is Meldrum's acid. So, these two hydrogens are active. So, that is why it is active methylene containing compound and both side, this is actually cyclic ester. Both side we have ester group. So, these are the examples of active methylene compounds. Next is what type of base we will use. Mostly organic bases are used. Like pyridine, piperidine, this is pyridine. 
this is piperidine then we have diethyl amine to degree amine so if strong base is used there is a chance of self condensation of the aldehyde or ketone so to avoid that we use mild base so this is one reason and another reason i have already said that these hydrogens are already acidic so very strong base is not required fine now the mechanism so this is our active methylene compound in presence of base one of this hydrogen will be removed and minus bh that is base is now protonated and this is our carbonyl that is nucleophile now there may be resonance so because of resonance with this carbonyl this enol is very stable because of this type of resonance stable enol okay and uh, stable carbonyl or you can say enolate this is actually enolate now this is aldehyde or it may be ketone there will be attack through this carbon negative charge over oxygen next step now there is negative charge this is alkoxide and now this protonated base it will supply proton so now o minus is converted to oh so this is proton transfer transfer from bh plus now there will be base catalyzed dehydration so this hydrogen that is the second active methylene hydrogen that will be removed by another base molecule and minus bh plus so this negative charge now it will be pushed and oh will be removed so this oh it will take this hydrogen so it will make basically that is net removal is removal of water molecule and now the base catalyst is regenerated it can start another cycle and this is alpha beta conjugated enone that is novel agile product so with respect to these two carbonyl group this is alpha position this is beta position so alpha beta conjugated enone that is the product of novel agile condensation why there is no self aldol condensation with 13 dicarbonyl because we are using 13 dicarbonyl compounds as the reagent from which we are generating the carbonyl but here we are not getting any aldol condensation what is the reason behind that now when we are talking about aldol i will suggest you please watch the video which is related to aldol and for that video you can click on the link which is appearing on the screen so it will be easier for you to understand so in case of aldol condensation basically we take simple carbonyl compound it may be keto or it may be aldehyde there must be presence of enolizable hydrogen now this enolizable hydrogen this is the keto form this is the enol form so this hydrogen will be removed and it will transfer to o minus now it is enol now in this enol if we see the equilibrium mostly it will remain in the keto form so that is why the backward sign is longer so when it is simple carbonyl compound there is small proportion of reactive enol or enolate when it is o minus it is enolate in the presence of large amount of unenolized electrophile so this keto form is the unenolized form and this is also the electrophile because here this enol will be act, acting as donor it will be acting as donor like this it will donate electron from this carbon and this this will this carbon will act as acceptor so acceptor is present in large amount and enol form is very small amount okay so this enol form it can react with keto form so product will be obtained then when all the enol are removed that is consumed then some more keto form will be converted to enol and in this way the reaction will be going on and there will be aldol reaction but in this case that is in novenagel condensation reaction the 13 dicarbonyl compound that we take here also we will get enol this hydrogen it will make enol now the enol form is present in higher amount this arrow is longer now why it is so because now the enol there is some stabilizing factor and the stabilizing factor is this cc double bond it can be in take part in conjugation with this carbonyl so that is the reason it it will it will be resonance stabilized and as it is resonance stabilized that is why the enol form will be 
in higher percentage compared to keto form. So the enols are very stable because of conjugation with the carbonyl of the ester group. Basically here I have written R but you can also consider OR. If it is ester it will be OR. Mostly ester compound is taken. Another probability is one side there is keto another side there is uh, ester group. The carbonyl group in the keto form that is this carbonyl group it is the keto form it is poorly electrophilic ester. Okay now why it is poorly electrophilic because if I write it as RO then C double bond O then because of this type of donating effect of this oxygen of OR the double bond character of carbonyl will be low. So the carbonyl here the this carbon it is not very electrophilic in nature. So the attack of enol towards this carbon will be less. So it is poorly electrophilic. That is C carbonyl CO double bond character is not very high. And if you consider enol, the carbonyl group of ester functionality of the enol form, that is also not electrophilic because of conjugation. So here one keto group is already in wedge form, another keto group is present. Now this keto group, there is conjugation from both sides. If I write it as OR, so there will be conjugation from OR side as well as there will be conjugation from the left hand side. That is because of this double bond. So here also the carbonyl group, it is not very electrophilic in nature. So as here electrophilic carbon, that is very less. So that is the reason aldol condensation that will not take place. That problem will not arise. Fine. In Novenagel reaction, excess of active methylene compound. Suppose this is A, aldehyde, this is B. B is the reagent from which nucleophile will be generated that is carbonyl will be generated here. Now this B compound that is the active methylene compound this is B. It will not it should not be taken in excess. So when it is 1 is to 1 that is one molecule of B it will react with A in presence of base mild base and we will be getting alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound here it is ester. So this, this is actually the novenagel product. But suppose if active methylene compound that is B that is present in excess. So another molecule of B now it can react with this alpha beta unsaturated enone. Okay. So that reaction is basically Michael addition reaction. And Michael addition reaction you will find uh, in part 3 of nucleophilic addition to CC multiple bond. And for this video, please click on the link appearing on the screen. So, Michael addition reaction will take place if we take excess of active methylene compound. So, another B molecule we have taken. So, here carbon will be generated and this will attack at this carbon because this is addition to CC double bond. So, this is also known as 1,4 addition. And when it will attack, now see this actually you can consider it as if hydrogen will be attached to this carbon that is the hydrogen which is removed from here and this total group that is CH2 then CO2R CO2R this will be added to this carbon so basically with this carbon now there is another CHCO2 so 2 CHCO2 is there. So now the CC double bond that is no longer present. So this carbon if I star mark and this is actually this carbon. Okay. So this car at this carbon that is alpha carbon one hydrogen will be added and at the left hand side carbon this uh, active methylene compound that will be added. So this is actually the Michael product. So if we do not we want to avoid this uh, step we should not take this active methylene compound that is B in excess amount because the product of Novenagel reaction that is actually the starting material for Michael reaction. That is why we should not take B in major uh, sorry in excess amount. So this reagent is basically the common reagent for Novenagel as well as Michael reaction. So that is why when it is present in excess and the starting material of Michael reaction which is the product of Novenagel 
that is present so there will be Michael reaction so if we want to avoid that we have to avoid taking excess of active methylene compound now we will see some application of novenagel reaction we can make different types of alpha beta unsaturated carboxylic acid so we have taken here benzaldehyde and this is our active methylene compound in presence of pyridine as sorry piperidine as base so the no, this is our novenagel product i am not writing the full form this is novenagel product alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound basically it is alpha beta unsaturated ester because we have ester group with respect to both this carbonyl group this carbon is alpha now we will do hydrolysis of the ester group in presence of dilute koh that is basic condition now this co2 et two co2 et group it will be converted to co2 minus and k plus that is the salt form now if we acidify it it will be converted to co2h next we are heating the compound so there is decarboxylation one of the co2h group it will be removed in the form of uh, by the decarboxylation process and at that that is in the position of co2h now there will be one hydrogen this hydrogen so now we are getting alpha beta unsaturated carboxylic acid with respect to carboxylic acid group this carbon is alpha this carbon is beta so that is why it is alpha beta unsaturated carboxylic acid so this example is with benzaldehyde now suppose we have taken this molecule where already there is one co2h group present in the aldehyde compound same active methylene compound same base so here this is the novenagel product this is novenagel product now one these all these three steps i have written simultaneously so basically it is hydrolysis in presence of dilute koh then acidification that is co2 minus will be converted to co2h and the last step is we are heating the compound then decarboxylation so with this co2h is already present in the starting material and this co2h that is newly generated and this is alpha this is beta with respect to this CO2H, so this is alpha beta unsaturated acid. Second application, if we treat aldehyde with active methylene compound in 1 is 2 molar ratio. So now this active methylene compound, suppose this is A, this is B. So B now we have taken in excess. Just we have discussed that we should not use B in excess because there will be Michael reaction. But here we want Michael reaction to happen. So that is why we have taken B in excess. Now why we are, uh, we, we want the Michael product reaction to be, to occur. The reason we will see. So first, this is Novenagel reaction. Alpha, beta, unsaturated, A star. Next, we are again using another molecule of B. So there will be Michael reaction because this compound, the product of Novenagel is the starting material for Michael. So that is why Michael reaction will take place. So this is the Michael product, fine. Now these two ester group, basically there are total four CO2 ET group. All these will be converted to CO2H. Uh, these two steps are written together. That is acidification after hydrolysis. Finally, there will be decarboxylation. So for each CH, CO2, H whole two moiety, there will be decarboxylation. So one CO2H group will be removed, that is minus CO2 from this CO2H and for this CaCO2H whole 2 there will be another CO2 minus decarboxylation two times so finally we are getting dibasic acid this is dibasic acid if you just focus on this part this is 1 3 dibasic acid this is 1 position 2 position 3 position okay so in this way by combining novenagel and michael we can make various dibasic acid Fine. So I would like to bring the session to a closure with a note that it is not the end of the reaction where addition of carbonon is taking place. So I will be back with another reaction where the nucleophile is carbonon based. Okay. I will meet you in the next video. Thank you for your time.